Heat Part 1 Learning Objectives 1. To differentiate between hot and cold things. 2. To understand what is temperature. 3. To understand how to measure temperature. Hello friends, it is so hot day. I feel like having an ice cream. It is so surprising that we can sense hot and cold things. But how do we sense if something is hot or cold? We feel hot in summers and cold in winters. How is it that we sense the temperature difference? Let us find out questions through this video. Rama and Raja just reached home. Looks like both of them are hungry. Come, let us go and find out what is happening there. Mother, where are you? Please give us something to eat. We both are very hungry. Oh, you both have come back? Today I have made your favorite hot puris and kheer. Come and quickly eat. Wow! Oh, this puri is very hot. How are you eating them, Raja? Isn't your puri hot? No, Rama. My puri is cold. Mother, why is it so? That I find my puri is hot and Raja doesn't? How do we sense the difference between hot and very hot things? First, blow and make your puri a little cold. Then we shall do an experiment. Friends, do you like hot or cold food? We might burn our tongue if we eat very hot food. I have filled water in these three utensils. Can you now tell me which one of these has hot water? Yes, this middle one. As I can see steam coming out of it. Oh, this one is so cold. This one is neither hot nor cold. So can we just touch anything? and find out whether it is hot or cold. No, Raja. I think it could be dangerous. Like if you had put your hands in the middle utensil, you could have burnt your hands. Yes, you are right, Rama. Because certain things can be very cold and very hot and it might not be safe to touch them. Yes, like ice. Yes, ice is so cold. If we try and hold it in our hands, our hands become numb and the ice begins to melt in some time. Yes, can you think why Rama? Because the heat from the atmosphere or our body melts it. So, it means that to find out the intensity of hotness or coldness of a body, we can not only rely on our sense of touch. Friends, the degree of hotness or coldness of a body can be found out by its temperature. But how do we measure temperature? What happened Raja? Why are you coughing? I am having body ache since morning. Your forehead is not warm. Let me go and get a clinical thermometer. Raja, you do not have fever. I shall make ginger infused tea for you. You will feel better. Rama, please wash this thermometer till then and keep it back. How do we find out how much fever we have from this thermometer? It is such a small tube. How are you, Rama? You look a little troubled. I think you are thinking about me. Yes, please tell me about yourself. You know that I am used to measure the degree of hotness of a human body. Yes, yes. But what is this shiny thing in this bulb? This is mercury. When mother puts me in your mouth, or places me underarm from this side, then the mercury starts to expand and enters this tube from here. 
until the point the mercury expands is the degree of temperature in your body. What does the C and F written on you mean? Rama, which unit do you use to measure height? Centimeter, meter, etc. Correct. Likewise, to measure temperature, we use degree Celsius and degree Fahrenheit. The normal body temperature of a human body is 37 degrees Celsius or 98.4 degree Fahrenheit. You are a very useful instrument. Now wash me with water and place me back in my cover or else mother will get angry. So did you see friends why we find certain things hot and the others cold? We also learned that how do we measure the temperature of a human body. But can we use this thermometer to measure the temperature of hot water? We shall find out the answer to this question in the next video. We